Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Transfer News. This is episode number five. It is a daily thing while the transfer window is open. So today, we're starting off with Michael Carrick. Now, this, obviously, his, his picture there and the badge is actually Perth Glory. He's pitching in the Perth Glory kit, well, badge, because apparently they were very close to signing him until Manchester United basically gave him a one, new one-year deal, which I think will be his retirement deal. I can't see him playing after that unless he goes, as I say, to like a lower league like the Australian League. Maybe MLS, something like that. I don't think Carrick's a very good player at all. I think he's literally just there just for the dressing room, just for a bit of experience while Mourinho basically rebuilds Manchester United. Next up is Callum Chambers. Now, apparently there's a loan deal on the cards for him to go to Watford from Arsenal to try and get some first-team football. He moved to Arsenal for £16 million and was hailed as like, you know, the new centre-back for Arsenal, potentially the new centre-back for England, which I think he could have been... But he never actually got like a full good run in the team. He ends up going to right back, which I don't think is his strongest position. I think he's built as a centre back, and in the end, he's just his head's gone. I don't think his confidence is there anymore. And he, at the end of the day, he's only twenty, so I think he needs a new loan. He needs to go out somewhere and get some good first team football. And apparently, Watford is the team for him to do that. Next up is Hector Herrera. As you can see on the screen there, he's got a Liverpool badge. And apparently, this came out of absolutely nowhere. Now, I'm a Liverpool fan, so I should know when we're going to be signing deals. Now, for me, I check all the time. Obviously, I'm not mad about football. You know, that's why this channel's about. And I check all the time for like Liverpool deals, any Premiership deals going on. And this Herrera deal literally just popped up last night. And apparently, we're literally just about to sign him. I don't know, you know, how good of a rumour that is, but obviously... That has popped up everywhere last night. He is Porter's vice captain. He's part owned by Pachua, his old club, or at least they've got like a sell on fee anyway. So that's, that could be a stumbling block. But apparently, you know, Porto needs to sell because they didn't get Champions League last season. I think Benfica and Sport and Lisbon got it. So we'll see on that one. Next up is Rudiger, and he is pictured with a Roman badge just literally because Roma have came out and said two players that aren't going anywhere is Rudiger, who they've only just signed, let's not forget, for 8 million. And Nine Golan as well. Apparently, both of those are staying now. Nine Golan, I thought was pretty much a done deal to Chelsea. I thought that one's done. There you go. And apparently, Rudiger is going nowhere. I don't see why they would sell him for anything more. You know, they would make profit straight away, but there's no point. Rudiger is like what 20, 22. Why would you want to sell a 22 year old centre back? I wouldn't. Next up is Kante. Today he's pitching in a Chelsea kit. This guy seems to get linked with everyone under the sun. Now, with obviously Vardy's release clause being met by Arsenal, there's now a flood of rumours for the likes of, you know, Kante, Mares, you name it. You know, the, the three best players basically there, even Drinkwater, are getting rumoured to be going everywhere. Now, Kante today, it's Chelsea. You know, Kante going in for Kante is apparently, you know, the, the rumour going on. Now, obviously, PSG are also interested, so it might be a battle between those two. Next up is Sahin, a player who had a terrible loan spell at Liverpool previously is now apparently going to be going back there. You know, he's a player that like Klopp really likes. You know, Sahin goes everywhere where Klopp goes. Now, uh, whether he goes to Liverpool again or not is another thing. Last time he blamed it on being played out of position by Brendan Rodgers when he was on loan and ended up getting his loan spell terminated. It wasn't a very happy time for him. So it'd be a risk in that aspect. He's not really playing for Dortmund at the moment. He's being beaten out of the team by that the young youngster at Weigel. So... It could possibly happen. Obviously, Klopp knows him, so Klopp would be able to put him in the right position. Next up is Theo Walcott with a West Ham badge. Apparently, they're going to bid £20 million for Walcott. Now, that, that's just ridiculous because Walcott's injured all the time for me, and I think he's a bit overhyped. It's just all about pace. In terms of FIFA, anyway, it's, it's really just ridiculous pace. Now, West Ham are splashing the cash like no tomorrow. They will be linked with a lot of players. Next up is Lozano. Now, just for any of you FIFA guys out there, if you have not used Lozano, just give him a go. Potentially, in fact, I might do it myself. Potentially, you could have Lozano on the wing in a 4-3-3. Lyon, left back, and Herrera as a centre mid. You could get you know two team, two, two, uh, two team of the seasons and one team of the week. And it would be a sick left-hand side. I'm actually going to do that. But yeah, anyway, back to back to the transfer news. And Lozano is meant to be going to Manchester United. That is a rumour. He is only, I think it's 20. He, he, that's, that's ridiculous. You know, he could potentially go so, so good. It's a player that I would want, you know, any team to get. Like, I would, I would want Liverpool to get it. And I think any club would be interested in him. You know, he's meant to be the next big Mexican thing. 
Next up is Fakir. Yet again, a West Ham badge. You know, do, do you want Lacazette? Do you want Fakir? Do you want Umtiti? Apparently, they want everyone. You know, West Ham are just throwing the money about, hoping they can sign a big name, like like they did with Payet. You know, they got really, really lucky with him. He became a fantastic player. He was a good player at Marseille, but I don't think he's really reaching them heights yet. And he's gone to West Ham and just went better and better and better. Became the main man, and that really shows. So, apparently, they're going to be over for Fekir, which would be crazy. Apparently, another... 20 million has been spouted there. And here comes the Chelsea potential front two. Starting off with Morata. Apparently they want him for 40 million. 1992, which means he is 23, 20, either 23 or 24. Which means, you know, he's got loads of potential. A lot of clubs are really fancying him at the minute. Arsenal was last time linked with him. And then to finish it off, Lukaku apparently going back to Chelsea. God knows how much that would cost. You're looking at least 40 plus, 50 plus million. So that would be an expensive front line. You're looking at potential like 80, 90, 100 million front line for Chelsea there. I think it is needed. It looks like Costa may be on his way out. But guys, that is all for today. All, all the transfer news today. Let's have a little look at the team, how it would line up if all these transfers came in. Obviously, Carrick's in goal. It's not really much of a transfer rumour. Same with Rudiger. He's basically staying at Roma. And then you've got the rest of the team. Now, that would be a pretty sick team on FIFA, you know, to come up with. Obviously, you'd have to change these two out to get the chemistry better. But in terms of that, I would be made up with that team. But, guys, if you've enjoyed, as always, like and subscribe. And I shall see you tomorrow for more transfer news.